Hey honey, welcome back to my channel, Taste in the City with me. On this Saturday, I decided to travel downtown to check out this spot that I've been hearing about. It's a ramen house and it's called Shoe Shop. And it's a sake bar as well. So it's again located downtown Birmingham, right across from the Alabama Theater. So hope you guys enjoy it. which is a ramen house and I'm just going to do a little vlogging and um, get the venue so you guys can see. I'm going to turn around slowly. These are the cute little Tito's tents that they have. And yeah, so let's get behind me. And we're going to get ready to walk in, you guys. And let's get a look on the inside. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Cute. This is so cute and sleek, you guys. This is cute. Okay, so there's a takeout area. There's the bar and the booth. Except for right now, currently, they are not open for indoor seating. So I just want to give you guys a look of this awesome venue. There's the outside seating from the street. And yeah. guys a good look at what's going on and yeah so and this is the end the hall this is the restrooms and so there you have it so I'm going to enjoy a meal here at shoe shop and I will let you guys know how it goes okay guys my evening is gonna start so I'm gonna which is gonna help me pick out some amazing things from the menu. I heard that they have the best sake in the city of Birmingham, so I'm all about some sake, okay? So I'm gonna have some ramen tonight, honey, and yeah, let's get into it, you guys. Stay tuned. So that was actually just stated incorrect. Um, the person who I thought was the waitress that was so kind and assisted me and that was serving everyone on the sidewalk was actually the owner. At the time when I first filmed this, several months ago, I did not know who she was, but I later found out that's who that was. Okay. So you guys, I am down here at Shoe Shop on 3rd Avenue North Downtown Birmingham. Um, plate isn't that pretty because I've already started digging it, which I usually don't do, but listen, these fried crab balls are everything. Um, there's some type of like mayo um, sauce that has like a, um, well I ordered another one because it's so delicious that one just was not going to do. Um, it has like a lemon taste and delicacy to it. It's really good. It really, well, no, the delicacy is more like a romalade. So let me correct myself on my wording. The delicacy is more like a romalade, this, but the taste gives it like a lemon lime tart. Very different. I guess this is some type of like Japanese style mayo. Um, I've never had this type of dipping sauce with fried crab balls. So for me, this is very different. But listen, I'm here for it, honey. Okay. So yes, come on down to Shoe Shop Birmingham and um, get into it, honey. Okay. Delicious. <laughs> it really is. Um, so, you know it wouldn't be me about to get a cocktail, y'all. Gotta tell y'all about some cocktails. I'm definitely gonna try some sake here. I've never had their sake. This is their sake meal. That's a cute little meal type of mug. Um, it has ginger beer in it. Now, I must say, it's enjoyable. Very refreshing. It's on the light side. So, for those people that come down here, 
you don't really like a stiff drink like I do, honey. You more like some on the sweeter side or more flavor, this would be for you. I like something a little bit more stronger, so I told her, it's okay, you know, like I say, we're early fall. It's kind of humid tonight. Not as breezy as what I thought to be downtown, so it works. Um, but I'm gonna, I'm about to pipe it up, okay? I'm about to try some of their real sake, honey, and get all into it, so. Stay tuned, I'll let y'all know, honey. So you guys, got the menu back out because um, I just finished my crab claws, my fried crab claws. They were absolutely delicious. Um, but, you know, I can't leave without getting some ramen. That's the whole sole purpose of coming. It's a ramen out. So, I'm about to go through this menu and um, let my waitress assist me in um, finding something I may like. I want to know if you can um, help me figure out, you know, what good ramen would be as a first taster for yeah, here. Sure. Do you have any dietary restrictions? Mm -mm. Perfect. So, um, our probably the one that we're most famous for is the spicy miso. If you don't like spicy food, then I'd stay away from it because it definitely has a bite to it. Oh no, I love um, spice. I'm all about some spice. Yeah, that one's awesome. It's my personal favorite. The spicy miso. Yeah, for Mis sure. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, it comes with chashu, which is the braised smoked pork belly. It comes mm -hmm. with ajitama egg, which is the six minute cured egg. Um, it's fantastic. I love it. Green um, onions, I see that. The, other, the, second, the second most ordered is going to be the shoyu, which is just a very basic soy based uh, pork rub. And it also comes with the egg and with the, um, the chashu. And then anything you wanted to add to it, there's a list of add ons at the bottom. You can do Make it spicy or add like chashu or burgers. Okay, so you said more add on what now? Like any of the stuff. More like chashu? Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay, so that's pork. It is. Mm -hmm. The pork belly. The pork belly, okay. And that would be for the the first one, the shoyu, or the original yeah, one? You can add any of those to any other. Okay. Mm -hmm. Y'all look at it for a minute, and then I'll come mm. back and see if you have any questions. No, I'm ready, because I'm ready to get going. I'm ready. Let's do it. Um, so the spicy one isn't top. Oh, no, pork does come in. Yeah. Okay. Uh-huh, absolutely. So let me do, I'll do the spicy one and add, um, you know what? I guess I'll add some mushrooms. How are the mushrooms? Yeah, the mushrooms are really good. Let me add that and then a little extra um, shasi. Yep. Okay. So you guys, my food just got here. It's so good. Look. Yes, ma'am, honey. Yes, ma'am. Look at that ramen bowl there, honey. this ramen up for you guys to see. Oh my god, it looks so delicious, y'all. Like, I'm excited. So, definitely gonna let you guys know. I'm about to get into it. And, um, I'll let you guys know how it goes, okay? Okay, you guys. Now you can get a better view of my ramen so the one that i ordered is the spicy miso ramen and it has spicy miso broth topped with um shazu pork that's what that is right there russell i just want y'all to get into this with me like it's so good y'all This is the most spicy ramen I have ever had in life. Do you hear me? And it's everything. However, what I forgot to tell you guys was I did add mushrooms to mine. Because I love mushrooms. 
and um, it actually is really good in it. Like you would think that it just came with it. So my waitress told me that that would be pretty good with it. So and you can add extras for two, three dollar extra charge, a little upcharge, um, which isn't bad. But hey, you make your own. I'm gonna enjoy this, y'all. I gotta get down here again. This is Shoe Shop on Third Avenue North, downtown Birmingham. It's a ramen house. Get into it. I want you guys to get into this. Like this is a whole vibe out here. I'm doing really good. Yeah. Music. It's a whole vibe. Okay. I'm really enjoying it. This bra is everything. It has a nice kick to it, but. I think you'll like it. Get into it. This. Talking about some food porn, honey. Okay. <laughs> Ridiculously delicious, y'all. Still enjoying. Still enjoying. Almost too much for me, y'all. It's a huge deep bowl full of ramen and pork and veggies and boiled egg and green onions and spice. Spice, spice, spice. Get into it, honey, because I am. So clearly, as you can see, I love this ramen because, honey, like, I finished the whole thing. <laughs> Sad. So, for my second cocktail, I decided to try the Shisu Mint Julep, which is a frozen cocktail. frozen and it's bourbon, fresh mint, shiso mint, um, house made shiso bitters, which I was told these little things that's floating in it, and um, yeah, it's pretty good, still undecided if I am going to try some of their sake, I do plan on doing it, we'll see honey, because it's the second drink, <laughs> but um, we'll see. I might get a little soppy, I'll let you know. But I'm enjoying this, y'all. It's very refreshing. She told me that it was pretty strong. Not for real. But it's good. I do taste the bourbon in it and the fresh mint. So if you like mint and if you like bourbon, I think you'll like it. Guys, so next up from the menu, your girl is trying some sake. Um, this is more so what I came here for. Not just the ramen, but to see what their sake is like. So, I'm excited. The sake that I've ordered for tonight is the second one right here. And I know that's probably was hard for y'all to read. So, but it is the Bushido Jinju Genshu. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, what um, the taste says tart, pear, raspberry, spicy finish. This is it? This is it. Alrighty. That is a cute can. Oh, that is cute. Mm -hmm. Just in case. Okay. Thank you. So it comes in this cute little can, you guys. And they also bought me a glass because usually you pour it in a glass, but sometimes people just drink out the can. So, if so I love the little mini glass um, to pour my sake in as well as the little can. Like, it was really dope. And on top of that, this sake was like really, really good, y'all. Like the best I've ever had of cold sakes. I love it. 
So for those of you who don't know what sake is, it is a Japanese alcoholic beverage. It's usually created from like fermented rice. And um, the alcohol content is pretty high. It's usually like, I think 13 to 15 or 15 to 16 percent. So yeah, even though it's light in color, <laughs> there's a lot of alcohol that's in it. So this is my beer, you guys, um, you know, for three cocktails, a starter, and a big bowl of ramen. I don't think that's too bad. So this concludes my vlogging video of my very first visit to Shoe Shop. The next few slides are some archives of mine I found from many other times I've went since I fell in love with this place. This Tonkatsu ramen bowl is one I tried um, this winter and I absolutely loved it. It had like these fried mushroom things on top. Yeah. Eating ramen is my favorite thing to do, okay? Y'all know I'm a foodie, but I just been on this ramen kick lately, I swear. Honey, this spicy tatsu with this extra char soup is everything. Now this cocktail situation right here, it has mezcal in it, sake, lime, um, barara, and black lava salt around the rim. I tried this sake cocktail back in March, and it was really good. That is cute. I just, I mean, the lighting and everything just works in this place. I just love this place. Sorry, you guys, I didn't get a chance to um, get a video of the um, asparagus, but they're delicious. So check this place out. I absolutely loved it. And again, keep up with me by following me on all of my social media platforms. Um, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you can keep up with me. And you can get all updates to my channel and know exactly when I upload episodes. All right. See y'all next episode. Take Sin City with Nate.